Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today we're doing a little update into what's going on with the stock market and in general the kind of negativity, the downward trend a lot of stocks have been on uh, pretty much continues going through the month of January. It's been an ugly January and even before that for quite a few stocks as you probably know it's been a bit of a rough 2021 but what we've seen coming into 2022 is this negativity still carry on with a lot of these like small caps, mid caps, growth stocks. But now what we're seeing is it's starting to creep into a lot of the indexes, some of those big market caps. And what has happened for such a long period of time is that you've looked at a lot of these indexes. A lot of the indexes have been holding up at 52 week highs, putting in new 52 week highs. And you've been looking and going, what is this disconnect that's going on now? But what we've started to see recently is we've started to see these indexes now, they're dropping as well as with a lot of these growth and small market cap stocks. And one of the big worries that I had personally is that I looked at a lot of the valuations of these stocks that were holding the indexes up going, they're pretty high, these have to drop at some point. And when these drop and these indexes drop, are we gonna see them small market caps come back into favor or are they gonna continue getting dragged down? And so far what we've had is we've had a lot of those small market caps continue to get dragged down now that a lot of the indexes are getting dragged down as well. And we have had our first official correction in an index. So we are starting to have stocks starting to enter correction mode that have been holding up as well, which is the big difference right now. So what happened yesterday is we had the NASDAQ officially enter correction mode. So if we have a look at the NASDAQ here, obviously you'll see that it's just been such a strong performer through 2020 into 2021 and then recently what's happened is we had our 52 week highs around November time, uh, one of these points here and since this point here you can see we are down over 10% which is the official correction mark. Now it will be very interesting to see if we do enter a bear market here where we go down 20% and um, we'll see what happens because when stocks go down the big difference is, is that when stocks go up it's nice and gradual they slowly build up but when we have negativity with the stocks when we have red days, when we have the stock market dropping, it causes so much more fear of panic, emotional decisions, bad decisions than when stocks go up. Um, and right now we're having that kind of, where we have only, if we go back to maybe the start of 2021, where everybody was getting carried away with stocks, the feeling around stocks is slowly changing. There's so much more negativity around there and that negativity affects stock prices and goes down a lot quicker than when they go up. So Potentially, we'll see what happens with the Nasdaq here. Um, but when, like I said, it is it is 50-50, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in the short term. Maybe this is, we enter correction and it levels out here, but we might enter even, we might go down even further. Now, funny enough, when you look at the S&P 500, which is once again an index that has done very well, this isn't actually struggling as much as what the Nasdaq is uh, right now. So if you look here, if we go from the 52 high of where the S&P 500 was, we're still only down about 5% on this one. So officially the S&P 500 hasn't entered correction mode, even though it is having a, a, a little bit of a pullback, but we do have the NASDAQ now uh, correcting, uh, which is interesting. The reason why it's dropping is because these stocks that make up the major weighting of it are starting to have a dip at last. These were not dipping previously. The likes of Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, Nvidia. You'll see here, if we go on to the likes of uh, Microsoft, for example, recently, you'll see that um, if we go off the 52 week highs, uh, that's down 11%. So like stocks like Microsoft are having a correction now. If you look at likes of um, Apple, uh, the, this is down 8%. Nvidia, uh, a great performer last year, uh, is having a 24% correction. Oh, well, a crash now, it's over 20%. So you have all these big techs now starting to dip and you see that starting to affect the indexes. And generally a lot of stocks out there, you know, a lot of people that, have been, oh, I'm absolutely fine, I've got no growth stocks. Even them investors are now starting to feel this pullback that's going on. So yeah, it'd be very interesting to see what happens here because obviously it depends what the big tech do. If the big tech, you know, level out, go down. If that goes down, will the whole market, the whole small cap still carry on going down or will people ro rotate into them? We'll see. But um, it is worth pointing out there that the whole kind of market is coming down now, which wasn't happened previously. Now, if we have a look into here, uh, this article, which I thought was really good, which is talk about the NASDAQ uh, having its correction, uh, which was the 66th correction it's had since 1971. And it went on to say what history says happens in the, ne in the next stock market. So it goes on to what is what are the chances of uh, going down even more from here, for example. It says here, since it was first launched in 1971, and those corrections, 24 of them, or 37%, have resulted in bear markets. So that is declines of 20% off recent peaks. So generally, if you go off historic numbers, there's a 37% chance that we actually go down 20% from here. 
So that's something to think about. It's just over a one in three chance really that we do have a big massive drop off from here. So something to be prepared of, but um, the odds are in our favor not to go down 20% from here. So we'll see what happens. I thought that's a really good point to uh, point out there. And you'll see here some of the historic uh, corrections here. And you'll see the, rec the last one that we had was on the 3rd of August, 2021. Um, you might remember this one if you were investing into the stock market then. Um, but yeah, this is when we had a little bit of a dip and you'll see that when this happened is prob what actually then um, used as a buying opportunity and then the uh, stock market actually went on another good run, as you can see here, uh, with over six bumps, uh, the stock market returning 21%, uh, which is obviously pretty good going. Uh, and then before that you had the summertime in August again, 2020. Uh, that's when there was a bit of fear around, okay, is the CV gonna get bad again? And then you might remember the CV dip here, which once again resulted in going on a good run. Uh, you got the 2019, uh, 2018, um, that was when we had the stock market basically uh, have the worst December on record um, and stocks just fell massively at the back end of the year and then uh, going on previously from here. But what you'll see is that if you look at what happens historically with a lot of corrections, with a lot of bear markets, even if it does go down um, from here, if it does go down you know, 20% or more, is when you look across the long term, so if we go on the one year after the correction happens, uh, apart from the obviously the Great Recession here, you'll see over a long period of time that all corrections are seen as massive buying opportunities. So you'll see here that, you know, if you go on the one year period, one year on from a correction, you know, you've got returns of 35, 37, 59, 59, 24, 16, 34, 20, 25, 39, 15, 20, 15, 32, 54, 40%. 50, so you'll see here that all corrections normally, um, even though it might get more ugly from here, you've always got to look at these as you know opportunities. You know the best time is always to buy stocks, and this is what people, people, the people that are struggling, the people that are struggling in the stock market right now, are looking at what's going on with a lot of these stocks and stocks going down, whether it be in the Nasdaq or any other stocks that have been going down a bit longer than that. The people that always struggle in the stock market are people that are looking at these stocks going down, going, "Oh, I hate this. I'm losing money. When's it going to go up?" And fed up with this, rather than looking at the people that look at this from a long-term point of view, which is obviously, if you look here, is if you go one year out from a correction in this index, it serves as a, as a massive buying opportunity. So rather than looking at these sort of things in fear, you've got to look at them as a, an opportunity. And as history says here, buying dips, buying corrections historically brings in good results. You know, look at here, one year on from a correction, look at the returns you have. These returns are really impressive. So rather than looking at this as like a negative, it might go down in the short term, it might go down more, but look at it for, for a more of a longer point of view. And this is a one year spectrum. You know, you imagine what happens if you expand that past. Okay, you know, if you bought the dip in, uh, let's go uh, the, the 24th of October, 2018, you're up 15% in one year. You look at what you're probably up right now, and I think this is the best point I can find, um, you're up 100%, so that's even longer term, that's the thing. And the, the big thing as well about this is this this is the index. You know, when you buy individual stocks, uh, and if you, as long as you pick the right individual stocks, some of these stocks would have gone up even more than 100%. So, you know, that's the big thing. Um, you know, when, when a lot of these stocks, when these indexes are dipping, there's a, there's a lot of ind individual stocks that are down even more than that. You know, the likes of uh, NVIDIA, for example, uh, NVIDIA is down 24% as the, the, in the index is crashing. So if you bought NVIDIA, for example, in the 24th of uh, October, to, we'll go for the 26th of October, 2018, when that was in the correction of the index, that was up 400%. So this is the big thing as an individual stock picker. You look at some of these opportunities now which will benefit you in the long term. And this is one that you would benefit from buying the index. And if you pick the right individual stock as well, you four, four times outbeat the index as well, which is really good. So I thought I'd just share that history with you and what could potentially happen, but what it means in the longer term, I guess. Um, but going into just how much fear is out there, this is, this is the big times. These are the hard times as an investor. When stocks go up, it's so easy as an investor. The tricky part is when it goes down, because when it goes down, you're trying to think about, you've got to deal with your account going down, stocks going down, stocks that you own going down, um, you've got to deal with negativity. You know, when, when you know, if you go to 12 months ago, 
where were people being negatives about stocks? There weren't, there weren't. But now because the stocks are going down, there's people coming out of the woodwork that have been quiet for the last two years because everything's been, everyone's been making money. Like, oh, this is going down, this is terrible. And the negative is so much louder just because stocks are going down. And it's also trying to remember that where you envision that company going long term, what's, what's the growth gonna be like? How are they gonna expand the business? And what has happened now is that a lot of people are, are now starting to hit this negativity and you're seeing a lot of people, a lot of people being shaken out of the stock market. A lot of weak hands have gone out of the stock market, and because of this boom and now this negativity, this is starting to take a toll on investors. And this is why people, not everyone, is really successful in the stock market. You know, you look at this, the Google Trends. Look at the the word stock search term from where we were at January time, and look at just the the drop off through February, through summer when. We started, you know, pretty much not doing anything. So then the decline that was going on through October, November, December, it dropped off even more. And this is the thing, you know, this is this these are now where the best buying opportunities are to get stocks. And people aren't bothered. People were more bothered when they're going up. And this is this is why people aren't very successful in the stock market. You now have less interest when everything's on sale, which is crazy. And this is what's happened right now. You've seen a lot of weak hands being shaken out of the stock market and um this, these are like like I showed earlier with the Nasdaq chart. These are the times you want to be buying, and this is something I see as well as a content creator. I see the the different feeling out there now compared to twelve months ago. You know, twelve months ago everybody was you know, oh look at that, that stock's gone up so much. Oh, Greg's has gone up uh, so so much. Tesla's going up. Uh, you know, everyone's buzzing, and now people are uh, you know a lot more negativity out there. There's a lot more negativity out there because stocks are going down rather than going oh these are good buying opportunities. Going oh these are terrible companies. I tell you something. There's nothing changed from that company to where it was at three months ago that caused a massive sell-off. So you've got to look at that share price and go, okay, is this company now at a very good valuation, or is it still overvalued? And there's a lot of companies out there that have deserved a correction, but there's also a few stocks out there that are now having a correction that are fantastic companies that are massive sold off. And like we showed earlier with the Nasdaq, when some of these stocks sell off. You've got to look at the long-term picture and go, okay, this company, is it doing good things? Is the revenue growing? Is it going to grow its profit? Or is it going to come into profit? Is the business going to carry on expanding? And look at them opportunities and go, is this a buying opportunity? Because what will happen in the long term is stocks do recover and they will go up. And at the moment, people are struggling because they keep going down and then they're struggling to go to kind of, you know, I've seen, I'm seeing people even go, oh, I'm, I'm just not going to buy the dip anymore. I'm going to wait for it to recover. Like this for me is like when we, this is now at the point where I made a video back in February saying that I'm very worried about stocks and stocks keep going up. And uh, I don't know if I want to really buy anything right now because there's just so much FOMO out there. Now we're at the total over end, end of the spectrum. And the feeling that I'm getting out there right now is that we are starting to get to the point where people are giving up on stocks. People, even people that don't want to quit the stock market are just going, I don't want to buy anymore because they're fed up of buying and the stock's going down. And when we get to that point where there's that much negativity and so much negativity that people leave and people uh, are now giving up on buying any more stocks, that says to me where we're at. And to me, we're at a really low point now. And I'm not saying that this is where we rebound, but I am saying that the fear out there is quite high at the moment. And normally when, just as when you go up, when everything's euph euphoria and everyone's going absolutely amazing, that's normally when it's the biggest risk. And the biggest time for probably, and the biggest time for a rebound is when everyone likes, I'm giving up on stocks. I'm not doing anything else with stocks. Every every weak hand that's been, uh, is out there has sold out of it. And I just see that going on right now. So hopefully that video was useful. Uh, just talking about the stock market in general, the negativity out there, and also the NASDAQ and uh, thinking about the long-term picture of it anyway. and. Uh, as well as that, that we're officially in a correction anyway for it anyway. So hope you enjoyed the video anyway, guys. Thought I'd do an update on that one. Uh, if you could hit the like button if you're new, subscribe. I'll see you next video.